So good afternoon, everyone who's joining us now. Uh, my name is Emily Bynan, and I'm delighted to have with me Darta, if yes, I'm pronouncing right. it correctly. Yeah. Darta, tell us what you're going to play this afternoon. This afternoon, I'm going to play uh, Karl Reineke's concerto, first movement. First movement, excellent. Okay, let's see if we can get up to letter E for Emily. And then we'll stop and talk about that. Okay. It's on page three, the bottom of page three. Yeah. Uh, maybe I will need some time to change my okay. sheet music. That's but fine. Okay. I'm going to sit down, but I'm listening. Thank you, thank you. So Darta, tell me, are you, what are you preparing this for? Um, I am preparing uh, ho this whole concerto for my uh, bachelor's uh, degree exam. Okay, and will you be yeah. playing with piano or with orchestra? Uh, with piano. With piano, okay. But maybe no, sometime. Um, <laughs> sorry? Maybe in the future <laughs> with orchestra. I hope so. <laughs> I hope so, I hope so too. Yeah. Um, just uh, for me to know, because I, the place I'd like to start with actually is um, around bar 75, this second subject. Well, let's talk about how many different characters we have um, 
in this music, in the music you've played until now? So we can have you this... Highlight, can you show us some of the different characters? Um, yeah, I think it's three of them uh, till the letter E. So the first one Tell is... Tell me, uh, explain, which is the first character? First one is like, uh, I don't know, uh, I think about this uh, uh, movement like uh, really romant something really romantic, like love between two people. And yeah. uh, especially uh, this whole concerto, I think, is, is about uh, insane love. <laughs> And the second movement is maybe uh, some sadness or, or breakup or something. And the third is like a uh, reunion, maybe, <laughs> uh, and okay. uh, maybe a big party. But uh, this first part, um, so yeah, this main theme first uh, till the letter C, I think so. Uh, it's like, mm, it's a good weather, two people are in love and, and uh, like beautiful situation. <laughs> yes. yes. The first one. Then later, uh, when we have a uh, uh, second theme, I think. Uh, maybe also like uh, love, but, but it's like gentle love. Really, really like maybe some, I don't know, <laughs> intimate moment. Maybe more, more, more like uh, something more cute and, and more like yes. the heart. In yes, yeah, yeah. 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 And, and then... And then uh, letter D, there is like, uh, I don't know, some sparkling moment, maybe some happiness, some Excellent. joke and, and, and they are laughing and having a good time. That's my thoughts. <laughs> yes, no, that's absolutely, I think I agree with you 100%. Um, I just wonder whether we can get these three characters a little more different from one another. Mm -hmm. So, and that's really where my first question came from. Are you playing with piano or orchestra? Because uh, where I want to start is bar 75, which is the second, uh, second subject, which is this more intimate moment. And in, yeah, intimate, introvert, maybe. Less yeah. to outside, less sharing, but, but a little bit more uh, reflective, more nostalgic, I don't know, something more delicate, I don't know whether it's because of the microphone or my headphones, but I felt um, it could have been more delicate, more transparent, mm -hmm. more fragile. Yeah. You know, um, so espressivo is something about the character of the sound in terms of the vibrato, but maybe the actual sound could be something more uh, breakable, more, more fragile. <laughs> rather than the substantial first movement we had mm -hmm. um, and then this lovely moment over the bar line into 79 when we go from the E to the D sharp pianissimo do you have also pianissimo in your yeah. score yeah. can you risk something really we've heard it all safe now but I now want to hear the excitement of what happens uh, at the risky edge of playing the flute yeah um, before we do that, can you just give me the outline of this phrase? We have three times the A. Which of those three A's is the most important? Um, I think in the second bar. Yes, so After. the third A, in fact. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, it's also the shortest. Yeah, right. <laughs> And so it's very easy for the longest one to sound the most interesting and then each one sounds less expressive and less interesting. So can we, as a starting point, just give me A, 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 G. But like piano, yes? Yes, piano, but just this, the, think of the shape that these notes have. Yes, let's start with just the, the A to G, the sighing. Can you give me more vibrato at the front of the A? Now, the first two A's are going to that. That was beautiful. 
I'm not, I'm hearing you going towards it, but I'm not hearing the third one with the most vibrato. It's such a short note. You have to be very conscious of, of that one having um, enough life. Yes. So the exercise which we just did with Daria, were you listening to her lesson? No. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, we did we did an exercise um, which you can listen to in that in her lesson or actually in my um, YouTube video about vibrato. I think I do this exercise as well. Mm -hmm. It's based on the de la sonorité, the exercise which looks like. Yeah. And it's to do with getting the vibrato at the front of the note. Because I would like to hear a little bit more. Because in real life, when we play. We only have one eighth note. So we have to be quite. Um, uh, almost unnaturally energetic mm -hmm. on that, uh, the shortest A. The first one will sing naturally. It's very easy for it to sound straight. Yeah. So make sure it keeps uh, uh, expressivo. Let's do this whole theme now. Mm -hmm. Good. Tata, Tata, good. Um, it's such a special moment going into this fifth bar, the D sharp. Can we try not to breathe there? I don't mind you breathing here. Mm -hmm, Even okay. more intimate. We go from piano to pianissimo. Mm -hmm. um, and that's very difficult to, uh, and not very effective when you breathe on that bar line, then it will, the D sharp is likely to have too much attack, fresh air. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I would prefer you to try taking a little breath at the end of two bars and then try and connect four into five. So we really make something special of this moment. And while you play it again, um, can you imagine the first A? Boom, boom. So the note is still there, but it's almost like you're singing it with your mouth closed. Boom, boom. So it's mm -hmm. it's got more of a release about it without stopping the note. So okay. it's still, yeah, let's try that. So good, well supported air. Yes. Okay, good. So maybe we're discovering slowly why you are not risking really playing softly in this second subject. Yeah. Because I think uh, the air speed is not exactly correct for your second octave. It, is it that something that happens quite a lot? The speed of the air? Sometimes, yeah, but especially in this, this, uh, the, those five, four bars. Yeah. So yes. So maybe I'm I'm like um, not playing too soft or or pianis, piano because I'm afraid that uh, I'm gonna lose the sound. 
Yes, so. I think you're right. Do you tell me? Do you practice a lot of harmonics? Sometimes, but not uh, daily. So yeah. I think that would really help you a lot with this because the reason why it particularly happens here is because there are lots of left hand notes which are the same fingerings in this second octave and in the first octave. And so if your air speed isn't exactly correct, then um, it's very easy for these notes to, uh, to fall down. Yeah. So um, I'm sure you have, which flute methods do you have on your music stand or in your bookshelf at home? I practice uh, all of them, like not all of them, but but most. Uh, uh, but I'm not like uh, stuck to one. Okay. So because there are a lot of um, harmonic exercises which start from the low register. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I think that what I'd like to do with you today is to, to do some harmonics starting what I call upside down harmonics. So fingering some, a note from the third octave, so let's say this F, and I'm going to let the two fake notes underneath speak. So I'm fingering, that's what I'm fingering, but I'm l deliberately letting the air speed be too slow. And then this comes out. Now, don't worry, it doesn't sound like a real note. It's not a real note because this is not a real fingering. That's the next note which comes out. And I'm not achieving it by articulating. Ta. So I'm keeping the air absolutely smooth. I'm not playing louder. I hope you can hear that. And then the third step is the top register. I hope it sounds uh, all the same dynamic. It does here, I promise. Yeah, it does sure, yeah. <laughs> um, good. Um, so I'm, I'm not using my lips. I'm not using my tongue. I'm not putting more air into the flute. What I am doing is something in the abdominals is getting more active. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's start from that. F is quite a nice stable one. So third octave F. Yes, and then, and then deliberately too slow the air. I'm not getting this middle one. No, okay, but I mean, I've been practicing it for 25 years. I'd be really annoyed if you could do it right away perfectly. Um, so let's just let that first low one speak, a nice long low one. And just really feel that in every cell of your body. Excellent. Very good. Good. And when you're in your practice room, you can make sure that that stays absolutely even, no, um, no bumps, no... So it's, absolutely, it's a good exercise for control as well. So now we're going to go from that note and we're just going to see if we can get the next one without changing anything with your lips, without changing anything with the volume, without articulating. We're just going to float up to the second one and back down again. And just breathe. Excellent. Do you feel where, where you're engaging your abdominals? Do you feel I that changing? I did it more with lips this time. Yeah, okay. But so this is a, be, yes? I, I practice this in front of a mirror so that I'm not using my lips. Um, mm. I don't know if you can see. Just 
should be moving almost nothing. Yeah. Should we try once more? Yep. So really this, this motion happens from the abdominals. Okay, excellent, excellent. Um, now, when you're when you're uh, in your practice room in the privacy of your own home, practice is in front of a mirror, and just you will only get profit out of this exercise if you really do it connecting to where the action is happening, which is in the abdominals. Um, I do, I can't see now because you're so small on my screen, but. <laughs> um, I don't mind for the moment if you're cheating slightly, but when you're in your practice room, please find a discipline to, to really not to change anything here, not to play louder, not to give any sort of kick, but it's just a gradual intensi intensifying of the abdominals. Let's try and see what happens when you float up to the third one now. So start in the same place and the middle, and then can you get to the top one? Excellent. Very good. Um, can you hear that it's getting a little louder or is that the microphone? Yeah, yeah, it's getting louder and I hear also, yes. I'm not controlling it right now. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. Well, it's a new thing, but I think that um, practicing this way will really give you the confidence to find out what are these three different airstreams. And this is the basis of, of playing uh, on the flute, actually, if we think of the low register as being the low octave as being the open strings, everything above that is based on changing the airspeed, a little bit changing the fingers, but mostly it's the airspeed that's changing. Um, very important when you are being absolutely honest and absolutely disciplined, um, practicing this at home, that you don't get frustrated because, you know, it's... Um, some days might work better, some days might work less well. Um, try not to beat yourself up about it. It's very important that this comes from a very organic, uh, confident place. Any time that you get all tense, then it's not likely to work. I mean, it's less likely to work um, than if you keep your focus. So if it doesn't feel like it's going well, put the flute down, take one breath cycle and then have another go. And if it you know, after five minutes, you really don't get it, then come back to it tomorrow. The flute okay. will still be there tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But I think that this, um, this courage and confidence to know exactly what the difference is between that low register and middle register in terms of speed of air, I think this will give you a wider scope in terms of your expression. Um, uh, bah, 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 bah. So let's do from the same place and we'll play a little bit further now. And I just want to see, just give you a consciousness. So just be very locked into how your abdominals are feeling and how engaged your abdominals are. So you're not getting the pressure from the second octave from the lips. That still feels free and relaxed. A light airstream, like a, a light bow attack, a light, uh, no pressure on your bow, but the bow is moving fast. And I don't mind a bit of fluff in the sound for this, it almost helps.
excellent. Very nice. Can you give me, in bar 85, are you using middle finger F sharp? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. It's still a little bit too sharp. Yeah. So make sure there's enough space. Oh, oh. Even though you're going up to top note, imagine that you're two meters wide and two meters front to back so that there's a, there's a lot of support of air. Let's go from the forte, two bars before that, 83. Even in the forte and the B, I think it can be more, the sound can be more wide so that this, this, the, the sound has more space to resonate. Data, data. Um, uh, a few things. Um, firstly, I would breathe after two bars, like we did in the quiet version of the theme. Um, and secondly, I think I would like to hear the accents are on the beats, right? In eighty-six, yampa, 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 yampa. And at the moment, the long note is dominating. Yampa, yampa. Can you give me a little bit less sound on the long note and a little bit more sound on the shorter note so that we can hear? I think that's why he put the accent there, so that yes. we know that those are the important notes. Um, and there was something else about the Bs. What, what vowel sound would you say you're singing if it was a word? I don't know. <laughs> Can I? Uh, yes. Not B, but just yeah. where you started. I just would like to hear more space in your mouth. Ho, ho. So I would like you to think of something more like a ho, ho, di, bi, da, bo, bo. In, At the moment, it sounds a little bi, bi, hi, di, da. Like as if your teeth are close together. Can you give me a little bit more space where you okay. start? Yeah, I'll try. So maybe think in terms of ha, ha, is the, the vowel sound. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Excellent. Much better. Here it sounds very different, yeah. So always be aware of which vowel sound you're using, which consonant you're using. So is it a t attack, a d attack, p, h? All of these, they have slightly different shape beginning of the note. Um, why did I stop you? Because the last note of bar 87 is an upbeat. And I don't hear that. Do you remember we, when we, where we started in 75, it starts with an upbeat. And it's the same here. Dim pa dim pa dim pom pom pom. So we need okay. to recognize that, oh yes, it doesn't belong to what's happened before, it belongs to the next bar. It's preparing the next bar. But I don't think we need to do that again. Okay. Let's go back to the very beginning, shall we? Great. Okay. Now, it's quite a complicated little first gesture, this, isn't it? Um, have you played it with piano? Yes. 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 So, the piano is setting up a strong rhythm. Bling, bong, bling, bong, bling, bong. Something about this F, the very first F sharp, the fact that it starts on a little earlier than we're expecting it to. Can that feel like, oh, I can't wait to tell you this story. Oh, 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 sorry, too early, you know? So something, for me, that F sharp has something a little bit more enthusiasm at the front of it, and maybe it has a little release. 
and I hear from you, you said at the beginning that the up until C is all about this very romantic, um, enthusiastic love gesture, right? And this is like, you know, you've, uh, you haven't seen your loved one for some time and then you rush, oh, I'm sorry, I trod on your toe. Or something is ah da da di. So we have two gestures. One is the F sharp P ya da di. Sorry for my singing. Um, so what I mean is, don't connect this F sharp to the C sharp too much. Di ya da di ya da da di da 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 da. And then somehow we need to decide: Are you going to take a little time at the top B? or a little time at the top G, or are you going to take time into the D? You can't do all three. Because somehow, this movement which we set up, we have this piano which is quite static, rhythmically, and then you come in and, oh yes, but I'm in love! Oh, oh. It's all over the place. Um, which implies, yes, taking time, but it also implies sometimes going forward. Um, and I think we all tend to be quite good at the slowing down over corners, but I think we we need to remember to get enthusiastic as well and go forward sometimes. And maybe we just fall into that our tempo again. Um, or if you want to take time into the low D, I mean, there are those three places, the top B, the top G, or the low D. Yeah. Mm -mm. Two is okay. Three is too much. Okay. It's only the beginning. <laughs> Sorry? Last time I did three of those. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so which one do you want to take the most time? I think B is uh, like more logic, but maybe G will also be interesting maybe i'll try okay good to good just but then so if you take a little time on the b more time on the g and then let's go then hand over to the orchestra okay yeah let's try <laughs> lovely beautiful it could be that sounds <laughs> Well, I mean, but in terms of uh, expression, I think that's more interesting uh, yeah. than than the first version. And also, so, it's interesting because I play like two, ba three bars, and then uh, then then it's orchestra, <laughs> and, and <yeah>. I wait. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Excellent. I like that. It's got more movement. It's more interesting. It's more excited, and I think yeah. that's what um, I was missing. The most from the first time you played through is um, the feeling of, you know, I'm not going to embarrass you by asking you if you've been in love, but um, when someone is in love, you know, you can't sleep and you can't eat and, and your head is all over the place and it means that bars aren't organized. It means that, um, that logical lines are not um, maybe the order of the day. Uh, yeah. You do silly things and you, uh, you know, this excitement, I think, um, and I think we need, we need to find a way of releasing the sound sometimes. So I think sometimes we can go forward so that we can come take time and come back. Um, and I think the, the feeling of excite, excited love happens when we're going forward more. You yeah. know, and then we ah, then we can take time. So I rush to see my my boyfriend um, so that we have the most time to spend together. Yeah. In this way, rather than arriving exactly on time and then I leave exactly on time. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. So let's uh, skip to 
the entry after A? Yeah. About 20 something. Okay, good, good. Let's just do that much. Um, in my, uh, I think there's a misprint. Um, I think when we get to I would, after your breath, I would re replay the F sharp. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Okay, yeah. Um, and actually, I think there's also another misprint in bar 25. A 16th F sharp. Oh, okay. Um, I and think I think you can risk something more. What I mean is less in bar 26. More piano. Mm hmm So that we come to a different place, a different harmony. Hear that harmony in your head. Um, uh, and I would, I would think of uh, the calando already finished on the fifth eight note of that bar, so that we whoosh into bar twenty-eight. Like you're running to see your loved one. <gasps> okay, let's do one more time, same place. Okay, I think, I think you could have got through that without breathing in 31. Can mm -hmm. we try? Yes, we can, but I'm not sure I'm going to manage it. <laughs> I think you can, especially if you release the sound on the F sharp a little bit. It's to do with um, a little bit daring to go forward in bar 29. You can, you know, you are in love. So go a little bit accelerando in this bar and not to sustain the, the F sharp in 28. <laughs> also already like in my blood. <laughs> yeah. And the point is, so it doesn't matter that uh, if, if you breathe in the end, as long as half of the times you've played this phrase, you didn't breathe, then you will breathe in another way. But exactly, you've just proved exactly the point. You breathe every time you've played this phrase. Yeah. And so you're not taking us through to the most important note, which is the G sharp. So the way to build it up um, is to, in your practice room, start on 28, playing mezzo forte, no breath, then forte, and then with the forte and with the upbeat. So you, give, you always give yourself steps, and then if you breathe in the concert, it's fine, because in your head, it's connected to the G-sharp coming up. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And I think you would really help if the F sharp is doesn't uh, isn't too loud. And then in that bar with the with the six eighth notes, twenty nine, that you go forward in that bar. Yeah. Okay. I'll try once more. <laughs> yeah.
Great, 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 great. Super. Now, because we went forward in bar 29, you can take a little bit more time to enjoy 32. Mm -hmm. This is not in love. Yeah. <laughs> okay? So take time over the appoggiatura. And I would breathe here. Something like that. So yeah, yeah. Uh, breathing halfway through bar 33. Mm -hmm. Because the F sharp again is not so important. So that we can keep over the bar line 35, 36. Keep that sustained. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Let's try... Oh, let's do the same place again. It's such a wonderful yeah. thing. Okay, great, super, super, very nice. Just to be very clear, um, I would breathe in 32 and in 33. Okay. As you did. Extra. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, so I can Again, play through this. We, of course, you don't need it yet. But yeah. it will help you get across the, um, in bar 36, 37 and so on. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good. But the reason I stopped you was because the harmony we arrived at, bar 47, we arrive on this harmony on one. So I would think of this whole bar as being diminuendo. Mm hmm Sorry, too many notes. Yeah. So if you can risk a diminuendo going up to that top F sharp, it would be great. And then you um, almost interrupt in the next bar. Okay. Yeah. Good. I've just seen the time. And just so that we've talked about all three subjects, let's jump yeah. to bar 96. Yeah, it's my favorite place. <laughs> ah, good. Yeah. It's hard, but but we're very yeah. pretty. Yes. Great. Very nice. Um, two things. Um, don't be afraid of the high notes with the accents. I think they're too soft. Because we need to hear this line. Whatever the mm -hmm. notes are. Mm -hmm. um, so, show us. Do you have little accents? Yeah. On yeah. the first beat of 97? Yes. 98? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So, those need to come a little bit uh, stronger. And. You know, this is this was written in a time where young ladies of a certain class uh, mm -hmm. used to be taught how to laugh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so this yeah. is a. Yeah. 
This is a really laughing gesture. Now, what happens if I ask you to laugh like that? Ha 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 all supported from the diaphragm. Yeah. So make sure that those staccato, it's not to do with short, it's to do with uh, bouncing and energy from their belly. So let's do one, one more time. Uh, also, I, I have one question. Um, yes. We had discussion with my professor. Um, should those uh, marked notes uh, or whatever, every eighth note uh, should be short or maybe like uh, more, uh, more longer? I don't know. Because now I play short. Yes. Um, if I think you can choose. Um, if you play them as short as you did, then they need to be a little bit louder. Bing! Bing! It's a, it's a kind of bing! 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 If you play them soft and short, then they don't have any ring. Yeah. So they need to have... Or you could play them a little... Bing! 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 But then maybe less edge to it. Mm -hmm. um, I liked how you played. I just think they could be uh, less yeah. shy. Okay. <laughs> so really like uh, ping pong balls. You can you imagine ping pong balls on falling on a marble staircase or pearls falling on a marble staircase? Oh, <laughs> my necklace broke. <laughs> Excellent. You can take more time. Are they are. <laughs> Just I feel yes, like I'm rushing. Yes. And and I would like you to show me a little bit more the chromatic E D sharp D natural. Mm -hmm. Let's do one last time. Yep. And then then I let you play through to E, because it's all a similar pattern. What a lovely place to finish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. So, um, uh, th in this style of music, think about the notes where you can take away some sound. Because yeah. the only thing that's going to kill the romantic um, liveliness, lively energy, is everything too sustained mm -hmm. in this style. Um, so, find the notes where you can release the sound a little bit so we get these more waves of excitement in the music. Yeah. Um, it's not about this sostenuto, it's not Brahms. Yeah. You know? Um, save that sostenuto line for the second movement. Yeah. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> Excellent. Lovely. Okay, thank, thank you so you. much. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. It's nice to see you. <laughs> nice to see you too. And thank you to Daria and thank you to... Reina. 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 Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay. Thank and thank you. you to everyone who listened. Thank you to the Riga Academy for hosting me this afternoon. Yeah. Okay. It's been lovely to listen to you all play and and work with you a little bit. If, you, if you've got any questions, then uh, just let me know. It would be lovely to keep in contact. Okay. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. <laughs>